How's it going, y'all? So tonight I wanted to show you the difference between the uh, the coats and the mutza. See how that fastens there with a hook and eye, as you call it? This one needs squeezed a little bit. It doesn't hold. There we go. So sometimes you'd have to squeeze them together a little bit to make sure they hook and click in. Other times you have to take like a butter knife and open them up. So this is my coat. As you can see there, there's no split in the in the back of the coat. And this is what you would wear. You could wear this to church, but this is what you would wear before uh, you became a member. But once you once you became baptized, you would have to wear a mutza, at least at like special occasions, like a wedding. Um, when you get married, you have to have a mutza. When uh, there's a funeral, uh, communion church, stuff like that, you'd have to wear a, a mutza. And I'll show you what that looks like here in a minute. And once again, the hook and eyes, these ones are open up a little bit too. I haven't wore them once in a while since it's my official coat. Also, if you're shunned and you go to church, you have to wear the mutza um, during church services. Even if it's warm outside, it's kind of like your punishment or to show that you were, you know, you're not in a good standing. So this one has a split on the back and that's how you know that someone is a member of church. That's called a mutza. I don't know what it's called in the English language, but we always just call it a mutza. So there you go. And then this we always call a jacket, obviously a vest, but again, the hook and eyes, they just cl click together, and then buttons on our shirts. Thank you, and God bless.